right, welcome to uh, Crane's Bar and Grill, where we, we uh, this one we're reviewing bad, bad uh, movies, I guess you would yeah. say, or movies are like that, and they're uh, recommended by wouldn't Stan. Call them, I wouldn't huh? call them good movies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they're recommended by uh, Stan. I know you don't know who Stan is, but he's a guru of uh, bad movies, and uh, we'll probably be taking most of our recommendations from him. The guru yeah. of of sci fi channel movies. Yes. Yeah. Uh, tonight we're doing uh, we're doing what uh, teenagers from outer space. What year is it? Nineteen fifty nine. And uh, yeah, Jeez. <laughs> so he's black and white. Good lord. Uh, a young alien and a teenager, a teenager Earthling, fall in love and plot to stop the alien the aliens race from using humans as food. For a giant, <laughs> for giant lobsters from their planet. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we're watching. And also, normally the, it's not like this. I have these up because it's winter time here, and it's cold. So behind the cameras, you'll see we've got a nice. Now it's winter heat. time, so it's extra warm. Yeah, it's extra warm. <laughs> so we got a big heater behind the camera there, and this is to keep all the wind. Out because it gets windy and cold, and uh, you know, right now it's not too bad. And hopefully, here by the end of the Little month, we'll be able to take these all down. I got them in sections, we take them all down, put them in storage, then it'll be nice and open. All right, and let's hit play, see what we get here. Uh oh, oh. Why does this remind me of the beginning of uh, Armageddon? Dr. Mace? Dr. Oh, Mace? Oh, yeah, looking at yeah. The guy finds the, the thing. He's like, I want to name it after my wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does he say? Because she's, a, soul, she's a soul-sucking bitch from which there is no escape or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it seemed to be a, a drill-shaped thing. Evolving. That can't be no, a real beard. It must have been my imagination. No. It makes me realize how... Desperately alone, the Earth is. Hanging in space like a speck of food floating in the ocean. Sooner or later to be swallowed up by some creature floating by. Oh, come now. There's no way that's a real... That's the fakest beard I've ever seen. <laughs> we can only wait and wonder. Wonder how. Wonder when. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> dog, Alan. Ooh. We were wrong. It's a flying saucer with a drill attached to the bottom. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a weather balloon. That's what they want you to think, Dad. They want you to think it's a weather balloon. It's it really looks tiny. Like, it looks like it gets smaller every time. Did it's like the dog could eat the it. Ground? Yeah. Yeah, it looked it looked like the dog could eat it. What? <laughs> I uh, well, now it looks really big. Look at the roll up close on it. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see the giant lobsters at all. It didn't even have the budget for to make his beard look realistic. Yeah. Now they didn't even have to make a good beard. Or well, all they needed to do was buy a lobster from the store. What they got one of the main guys with Brian Grant? What if that's related to Cary Grant? I don't know. It's a knockoff of Cary Grant. That's what I was thinking. The music was really loud there for a second. Yes, it One was. One of the guys' names is Don Bender because he don't bend the room. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking he was drunk. You go right to the dirty mine. Mm, my bad. Was this one of those things where it's a miscalculation of size and they're going to yeah. get eaten by the dog? Yeah. This is actually where Douglas Adams got the idea. <laughs> Just vaporize the dog. dog. It's a it's a mask from a jet pilot. The oh alien's my. a jet pilot. Wow. <laughs> it's just the, the thing's just disconnected. Oh, yeah. Movies back then, uh, teenagers were like thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kind of like yeah. in Greece. He could, he's not a teenager. No. <laughs> he's older than me. Oh, is it? Wow. He's even older. Yeah. That looks like his dad. Yeah. 
his vaporized, that, they vaporized that, that dog with a flashlight. <laughs> did you see that camera adjust? Huh? Where he, no. he posed for a second, second and the camera yeah, went, yeah. kunk. <laughs> it's like, oh, the shot's too high. <laughs> Is this, like, is this like clowns getting out of a thing? <laughs> yes. That's not only big enough to fit one, maybe two people. What, how many people get out of there? Five? Man, look at his ears. Oh, jeez. They put Walk. Connors to shame. He <laughs> 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 just zapped it to bones. <laughs> Why wouldn't it affect bones? Said teenagers around, but yeah. They even got suitcases like us. Was that a portal record player? Ooh, that's advanced. What is that? <laughs> oh, they got a radio. They got a <laughs> no, it's an amp. It's an amp. <laughs> it's an amp. It's an amp for a guitar. <laughs> 42 saturation degrees and 96 volumes. Intermediate fluctuation in Marfan content. Derek reporting. Tridex mixer components ratio exceeding 7 to 1.4. I like how it's painfully obvious that they recorded the audio in the Service studio. Oh. Yeah, because a lot of times oh. it didn't match up. It didn't quite match up. Bring up the young Gargan specimen. Now the decision depends on its reactions. Wait, Captain. I have found evidence of intelligent beings on this planet. And that's why they have to talk like that, so they can, so they can match the mouth movements. Just as you were so unconcerned when you destroyed the small creature. So bravely. It was no more than an insect. But it had life. And that life you had to take to satisfy your endless hunger for killing. Silence, both of you. Proceed, bring the Gargan. That will not be necessary, Captain. Uh-oh, we're gonna turn on him. Oh no. That was Conditions delicious. here will be reported as unsatisfactory as they were on the other planets we have charted. By what authority? You will prepare for takeoff. The ship will leave this planet immediately. According to our code of operations? You may forget the code of operations, Captain. Only civilized beings could have made the inscription on this metal piece. We shall not have the thousands I like how they can travel. They can travel light years. But they can't tell that obviously there's yeah. Obviously, there is life on this planet. Yeah. Necessary is a reserve food supply for our people. Our people. We live like. They also can't terraform a planet, oh. apparently. Our fathers or mothers were raised in cubicles. The sick and the old are put to death. It is the one and only way to maintain the supreme race. Have you forgotten? That? Our people have forgotten. Is the supreme race the lobsters? I'm thinking. For centuries. Why would they but be the supreme race? Would they be the supreme was. species? Families. Brothers and sisters, right. there was happiness, mm. there was love. Of oh, what do you speak? Well, racers are made up hard anyway. Such I have read. I have read from this book. I discovered it and kept it hidden. When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture and death for this treason. The High Court may judge me after we have accomplished our mission. I am interested to see what sways your mind so heavily. You may have it. Are the Gargans the lobsters? <clears throat> well, that was tricky. Bring up the Gargan. Uh-oh. The Gargan? Is that a lobster? This book has poisoned your mind and you shall suffer for it. Captain, if the Gargans are shipped here, the inhabitants may destroy them. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. Keep him under guard, Thor. I will study the reaction Thor. of the young Gargan. We have the supreme flashlights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the zappy flashlights. Uh -huh. um, so they're the supreme race. And the yes. Gargans, I assume, Before are the lobsters. The High Court has you executed. You should be made to watch what happens when we return here with the Gargans. By the elements alone, they will grow to millions of times their original size in less time than it takes for the sun to rise and fall. So we're gonna have giant lobsters. It thrives. Uh oh, regular Already lobster. I can feel it has grown heavier. We shall return to our base and leave the transport ships here. Soon, this planet will be covered with full-grown gargans. 
a safe distance from our planet, yet their meat will be available to us for the harvesting. So they're eating over. So, I mean, lobster is good. I don't know if it's good enough to find another planet to raise the giant ones on. Yeah. I mean, it's not that good. That guy's voice, he sounds like, what's his face from Star Wars? The head guy besides Darth Vader? Now Palpatine. The head. Oh, yeah. Turkin? It suddenly fell limp and now does not move. Assemble the T-Rex's hook in the gas grading instruments. Be quick! Uh oh, the lobster's not moving. Scrawny white guy? Yeah. Tarkin. It's okay. Tarkin. Yeah. What's his name? In real life? Tarkin. Oh, I don't know. Tarkin. Tarkin. <laughs> In real life, Tarkin. <laughs> But the Gargan species cannot live due to excessive nitrogenic gas compounds emitted in our preliminary diagnosis. Uh oh. Then this planet will be reported as unsuitable? Repack the instruments and prepare for takeoff. We will continue our search in another solar system. And when we return to our home base, you will be presented to the High Court with the evidence against you. Because I've got two Vs. I got two Vs. You only have one. Find the prisoner and prepare I'm higher rank. Isolation chamber. That little tiny thing? The little tiny saucer? You're all isolated. That's smaller than my truck. And I can fit That's... six people comfortably in it. Okay, it's smaller than my hunting Oh, look how big it is. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter in their yeah. tents. It's like magic. They go in as this huge inside. Yeah, because on top it's more than my Hyundai. Yeah. So. <laughs> Expedition Z06 to base. Guard him. I will get the straps. Uh oh, not the straps. No, not the straps. <laughs> Put your hands behind you. We're gonna get the straps in the flashlight. Did he say lay down? Did he say lay on your face? But he said put your hands behind you and he laid completely down flat. I get some. Good Friday at a Catholic church. <laughs> uh oh. See, nothing ever goes back in the box like you got it out. Yeah. <laughs> it always, it never, I can't get the cords or nothing. Oh, he's gonna get up and run away. Really sneaky. Watch. It's his superpower. I can run away. <laughs> Your orders are complete. He is escaping. Oh. And that's how we got the Ten Commandments. <laughs> the burning bush. <laughs> it was aliens shooting their, their, their flashlight. Of our leader. Derek? I reported his actions and was connected with They the shot the bush, so it started burning. He, told me he was hiding underneath that Derek rock. That's when Moses came back. He's not going to get in and trouble because he's the son of their leader, the one that was reading the book. The sky is light, we will begin the so I reported him, and Captain, that's when they told me the son of their leader, nothing's going to happen to him. The it is not dead. He's doing push ups. It has ah, I, did, I didn't know lobsters could do push ups. The excessive nitrogen. Imagine how many lobsters died to make system. this dumbass movie. <laughs> Now it thrives on the very same compounds. Then this planet is suitable. Completely. Lobsters that could have been eaten. Must resume radio vision contact. A waste. Tomorrow, well, craft so services must have been good. <laughs> we had lobster on this <laughs> set. Right. <laughs> Every shot, it's a new Did you lobster. Hear that? that sounded like a gunshot back there. Yeah, yeah. it's either that or the thing back there. Oh, that's the electric company's over there. Yeah. At the rate the Gargon is expected to grow, Oh, no, we're in the country. Yeah, it's the electric company firing guns. And escaping from the cave. We shall it's be possible. back before that happens. <laughs> Out where we live. We should receive food in excess of the atmospheric color. Could be coyote. We will leave nothing else for it to consume. True. Imagine. Thousands of beasts like that. Millions of times enlarged. Roaming over this planet. They will be harvested. People who aren't from the air. south are going to so be like, where do no they live? They just heard a gunshot and sat there. <laughs> Let us be quick. I do not like to look upon it. Yeah, I, I like lobsters. It's not a bad idea to have bigger ones. Now that you report the planet is suitable for our purposes, you are to return here immediately and prepare to leave Maybe the Maybe that's how we win. We're yeah, boiling and eating. There is a difficulty in our operation should he communicate in any way with the inhabitants. Though they may be. If we are to return now, how can he be stopped? Look at 
fear to return you now. Oh, right. We're going to have a microphone. I will join you on the return trip to meet him there. He may be stubborn. He has already threatened our lives. If that becomes the case, he... He must be destroyed. And any beings with whom he might communicate, they must be destroyed. Your orders are complete. I shall send my best man. I heard the orders, Captain. Let me find Derek. Okay, Bellatrix. I can talk to Voldemort. We will leave now and return here to meet you when we bring the Gargans. Do not fail, for I shall not fail. Can you imagine how awesome it would be if lobsters really did grow like giant? Yeah, would, uh, dinner yeah, dinner maybe, would be great. Yeah, It'd be awesome. But how much butter would we have? Can I help you, sir? Yes, I... What was that noise? What noise? It's like crunching. That's not the ice machine. Maybe it is the ice machine. Sparky. Twelve forty-three. eating? I don't hear anything. You hear anything? Doors up. You can't miss it. Hey, what's what you're doing now? No, I'm. I'm sorry. I was just trying to make out what kind of clothes that guy was wearing. Looks like some kind of military uniform. Wonder where he's from. Your clothes look more like a military <laughs> uniform than his do. <laughs> what the hell kind of military do you think he's part of? Well, you gotta remember it's black and white, so his outfits probably it could be white for all I know. Oh, back in the day when you could actually stop a hit, pick up hitchhikers and win a big deal, people. Yeah. It wasn't an axe murderer or nothing. Or a child molester. No, it might have been. You just never seen or heard from him. Yeah, that's true, because they didn't have national news. Okay, it's all right with me. Wait. They're right together. Isn't their car bigger than that? Like that before. What brings you here? Doesn't that car look bigger than that? They're like shoulder to shoulder. Maybe I can help you. I know a lot of folks around these parts. It looks like it's riding in the middle. For someone you could not know. Oh no, I heard that. Yeah. What? It's like a little crackling. And then squeaking. Oh, I didn't hear squeaking, I just heard a little crackling. It sounded like... I heard squeaking. Oh. Maybe we got squirrels in the attic. That's what I'm thinking. No. Oh man, my broom goes right to the attic. See, look at that. See, why don't y'all wear dresses like that? Jeez Louise. You've come to see our room for rent? Of course, that haircut's ugly as all get out. Yeah. I like the dress. You show it to him, will you? Joel will be by for me in a minute. We're going swimming at Alice's and I haven't even changed yet. Well, come on in. Yeah, just come in. I don't know who you are. But back then, we used to just invite people. We used to love it. So, so he knocks on the door. You know, I mean, people would keep, you know, your parents always kept stuff out, like maybe some fruit or some whatever, just in case somebody stopped by. Now, the doorbell rings, you're like, oh, God, who is it? Hide, maybe they'll go away. Right. <laughs> Dude, even if I get food delivered, I like hide until they leave, then I grab it. <laughs> <laughs> or you get really drunk and just leave it out on the porch and forget about it. Your yeah. Brother? I did do that. You knew your brother? Did I know my brother? That's a strange question to ask. Grandpa Not nowadays. Since we were kids that is a crazy haircut. Look at that. I'm she just got those bangs kind of straight across. It's just that I never knew any brothers or sisters. <laughs> Your mother and father decided to play it smart and avoid a lot of squabbles around the house. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> I never knew my mother or father. Oh. Well, let's take a look at the room. And if you like it, you're welcome to stay. It's this way. I'll show it to you. Hey, I thought you were getting ready to go swimming. No, that can wait. Right in here, Derek. I hope you like the view. There's plenty of windows. Who does she think he is? I didn't hear. I didn't either. I think she just thinks he's cute. Uh, so she just invited him in and trying to run the house and you can stay here? No, they have a room for rent. Ah. Uh, she thought he was stopping by for that. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Tell me what is this for? Hey. Now look, mister. I didn't offer you a ride. Hey, another one. Tell me! Tell me! Sure, tell me now. <laughs> I didn't mean anything. Here's the clutch. Oh, when I push it in, I change gears. Low, second, and high. And to halt the vehicle? When I want to stop, I press the brake. Right here. 
And this? The starter and ignition switch. And the fuel, what does it use? Are you kidding? Gasoline, of course. Here's the gas pedal right here. Hmm, it's about time I have the tank filled. Oh, I was hoping to show the gas prices compared to now. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. you opened another one? That's all right. I thought you... Normally, leave them, leave them both. I'll yeah. refill. Normally, you fill it up before you, you know, drink it all the way. Well, maybe he doesn't like to talk about where he's from. With the looks of his outfit, I'd say he's raised in a private school of some sort. But then, if he doesn't like the room... I like it here very much. I would like to stay. Fine. Now he sounds like he's got like, mm -hmm. Down syndrome or something. <laughs> it's not, it sounds like Forrest Gump. And we know why Becky wants him to stay. It's Betty. <laughs> or Betty. We know why Betty wants him to stay. I mean, my uniform is all I have. Gosh, you've got to have more than that. A Bud left some of his clothes in the closet, Grandpa. Couldn't Derek use some of them? Of course, my dear. Bud wouldn't mind a bit, I'm sure. Oh, golly, that's Joe. Oh, golly. Put on whatever you like <laughs> from the closet, Terry. I'll be right back. Make yourself at home. Hi there, Joe. Hi, Gramps. You know he's a driving hey, nuts. Really make the swimming date. Not till later, anyway. Got a sudden assignment for the paper. Oh, gosh, what now, Joe? Oh, gosh. Oh, golly, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like it might take you all day. I hope not. I'll call you as soon as I get through, okay? Okay, Joe. She has really small features. You never know when a new story will break. She looks kind of like Macy Williams. Mm -hmm. She looks kind of like Christina Ricci. Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. <laughs> you don't know Alice. I won't be able to keep him apart. Oh, Mac, we didn't have to pump your own gas in the cold. We can move to Jersey. You still can't pump it there. Yeah, good law. Somebody has to pump it for you. That's insane to me. Yeah. Hard enough to drive a car. Hey, what's going on in town anyway? But uh, so not to pump your own gas. What are you wearing? I talked to a guy this morning who was wearing the same kind of outfit. To me, that's only insane Maybe because you looking for, huh? every other state has you pump your own gas. So anyone from New Jersey go? <laughs> going somewhere else has to pump their own gas, and they don't know how. <laughs> That's what's insane to me. They're not yeah. knowing how. Uh-oh. He's going to fly sliding. He wanted to know about the address, and I, I told him how to find it. Where? Where did you send him? It was an address on Willow Crest Drive. 1243, I think. Tell me how to get there. Just drive down there about three blocks. That's, that's Willow Crest. 1243. It's only a few doors up. Uh-oh. You got fly slided. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a skeleton. Also, uh-oh. Also, I like how the car was in drive. He got turned into a skeleton, and all of a sudden, it's in park. I'm gonna throw you out of there. Some, uh, some medical class will be able to use you. <laughs> he takes the whole skeleton. <laughs> by it's the all spine. attached. Yeah, by the spine, yeah, it's all attached. What's it you attached can see that. You can see the metal <laughs> fixtures. Again. Uh, this time, pull in there. That's Alice. Much better. Wait, Betty. Yeah, she makes that sound. Oh, much better. <laughs> <laughs> what were they doing in the car? It was because of... Yes? I had just arrived here. I, I did not know where else to go, but... Everything was so strange to me. I... I'm glad you came. So is Grandpa. But will, you, but will she say that later? Not any family or friends. You wouldn't like it at a hotel or any place like that. Come on. I hope Alice can dig up some swim trunks for you. Why does he keep looking at his hand? He's got that dog tag in his hand. Ah. Oh. I'm trying to find that. This is the 50s. Didn't they pin back people's oh, ears yeah. then? I don't know. What? His ears bother me. Along. Uh, Derek, this is Alice. Derek! Hey, I like that. Come on in, the water's fine. Well, we need a pair of swim trunks. I couldn't find any at my house. No problem at all. He can wear a pair of my father's. 
The folks are gone today and so are the servants. We have the whole place to ourselves. Man, all the girls are just horned dogs, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Hanging up right over there. They look a little large for you, Derek. Or maybe you better put them on with some clothespins, too, just in case. I guess it's safe to try them on anyway. Over there at the bathhouse. What was that? Don't worry, I'll get it. Are they even standing that close to the pool? Huh? Are they even standing that close to the pool for it to fall in? I have no idea. Heck, I thought it was a 50 cent piece at least. Why, that looks like... When I first arrived, I was with some others. One of them destroyed a small creature. Later, I found that among the remains. You mean somebody killed Sparky? Betty, I'm sorry. Tell me who did it, Derek. They are gone now. Only I remained. But... It was Thor in his That makes flashlight. it sound like he killed them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who killed Sparky? Then you say Thor and his flashlight, and they'll be like, what? I'll get dressed and come with you. No, Alice, please. Well, they killed Sparky, and then he we'll killed them. That's what it sounds like. Oh, he's gonna get uh -oh. vaporized. He's gonna vaporize Grandpa. Gonna point his flashlight at him. <laughs> More, more extreme version of Men in Black, like, look at this. If you're looking for him, he isn't here now. He and Betty, uh, that's my granddaughter, they went over to the Woodwards. Why don't you go on over there? No doubt they'd be glad to have you joined in the fun. Yes. How do I go there? The Woodwards are straight on down the street, about three miles, just before you get to the park. Yes. The How do oh, I go there? <laughs> Where are you fellas from, anyway? Don't believe I've seen uniforms like yours before. Oh, there's pockets. Ooh, military secret from, aid. Uh, well, uh, it doesn't matter. Derry Cleveland. Didn't say where he's from either. <laughs> Don't let me keep you. You're probably anxious to see him. Dum, 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 dum. So you notice back it's 1950, what, nine? Yeah. Back then they had to teach the alien to drive so he could drive and be the man. Right. <laughs> They've been here for a very long time. No. It was among these remains that I found the metal inscription. This couldn't be Sparky. I know. He must have been here and his collar tag fell off. That's all. You are not familiar with the focusing disintegrator ray? The what? The what? The what? I'm just a girl. I don't know about that. Does that involve math? <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. right around the same time, wasn't it? Yeah. You mean when did Wizard of Oz come out? Sparky? But over there is what happened when the same thing was aimed at me. Yeah, she does have math. You could stick a pencil that in between, I guess. Pretty that. messed up teeth. Yep. Good heavens, Derek. I always wonder, like, they're as bad as their bangs. Huh? Like, I watch people on YouTube and they'll bring up, like, oh, yeah, Wizard of Oz, and then they'll know exactly when it came out. I got to Who knows that? that? <laughs> form of transportation that you know. What do you mean? What's that got to do with it? Please tell me, Betty. Well, airplanes. Jet airplanes, I guess. Why? And. Where do they go? From where to where? To anywhere in the world. And that's all? Where else is there to go? I should not have brought you here. Is it about a new secret weapon? Something you and the others invented and then they turned against you? It, yes, it the lobster. Like Betty, when you learn where I'm from, well, you may not understand, but... I hope it will not make any difference between us, because... I don't care where you're from. As long as it's not Harlem. I don't understand all this, but... <laughs> I don't care where you're from. I've always I love been. you. But we've never been apart. I... I'm from the west side. Oh, no, don't do the west side. <laughs> Let us go to the professor you speak of. 
We have to pass the house first so I can change. What was that? Did you hear a sound? No. Only the wind. Your big old ears. I'm sure you're hearing a lot. <laughs> no kid. Nothing. My imagination alarmed me. Come, let us be on our way. Well, hello. What can I do for you? You are alone? Could be. Where are the others? The ones who are with you? Why do you want to know that? Tell me where they are. Say, who are you anyway? <laughs> Never mind. Bossy. Just tell me. Well, they left here. They're gone. Where did they go? I think you better get out of here before I call the police. You will call no one. You will do as I say. That's what you think, mister. I think he's going see. You're going to wait until she gets out of the water? You will call no one. <laughs> oh, they even got. They got a fog machine. You got the dry ice. Grandpa was asleep, so I left a note so he'll know where we went. If I know Grandpa, we'll be back before he even wakes up. Uh, hello. Hello, Gramps. This is Joe. Betty there? Hey, Gramps. So, she and Derek went out over to the Woodward's pool. Who's Derek? Yeah, you can probably reach her over there. Well, the reason I called, I wanted to tell Betty I stumbled onto a double murder story that may keep me longer, but... Well, after I get the story into the paper, I'll, I'll go on over to Alice's and see her there. A double murder, Joe? When was it? Where? We're, we'll know more when the coroner gets here. Well, gotta get busy now, Gramps. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Joe! Joe, I just found a note. Joe! Hello, hello. A note. Joe! My golly, you missed them at the pool, huh? Sure am sorry. Uh, Betty left me a note. Now they've gone over to the college to see Professor Simpson. Hello. Where can we find Professor Simpson? This is his office, but he hasn't come in yet. Well, let's wait for him at the faculty parking lot. It's just around the building. You may wait here if you like. No, thank you. We'll wait outside. I'm guessing that's him. Good morning, Hilda. Oh, good morning, Professor Simpson. Have the aptitude questionnaires come in? They're probably still... She doesn't the remember the people who were just there looking for him? Now the other guy's going to show up. Uh, that's Professor Simpson's office. The third door down. Uh, he's head of the science department. Well, that looks like Professor Simpson's car right there. He must be somewhere else on campus. We better go back to his office and wait. Hello? This is Simpson, science department. I put that down. What is the meaning of this? Do as I say. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> The one who came with information for you. Who? You are making some mistake. I am making no mistake. Where did he go? Out there? I don't know what you're talking about. You will speak to no one else. Oh no, the flashlight. But he knows how to work a window. Yep. And climb out it for some reason. Why he didn't go out, back out the front door? Why did he come out the window? Because they're coming in the front door? He found his car, so... Yes, I know. He came in right after you left. You can see the metal in the head. Yeah. Oh, oh Derek. I just go around and pay for all the guys. I'm not going to keep a job where this sort of thing goes on. Only unattractive women. I want to believe what I'm thinking isn't true. Live on a world with me and nothing but supermodels. Then, whoever killed Sparky... But you said they'd gone. For some reason, they want to stop me. Somehow, we were traced here. I want you to get in your vehicle and go to a place where you will be safe. But how could they... Grandpa. I left a note for Grandpa. They must have... Oh, Derek! I will go to your place. No, they may be waiting for you there. 
I can call Grandpa. If you leave me, we can't make alien love. <laughs> we can't make alien babies. Hello? Oh, Grandpa, thank heaven. Derek, he's all right. Betty, what is it, child? What's the matter? Grandpa, was somebody there? Somebody you told we were at the college? Oh, yes, a friend of Derek's. Uh, did he find you okay? He's a murderer. He killed Professor Simpson, Grandpa. He's after Derek, and he's probably on the way back to the house right now. Murderer? But uh, are the police... Don't argue, Grandpa. Just get out of there. We're going to the City Hall Police Station right now. Meet us there. Don't worry about me, Betty. I'll leave right away. Goodbye, honey. And this is how we... Dun, dun, dun. Out the back door. Call the police and let them know we're coming. With what weapons are they... Get kill Grandpa. Guns? Why? Guns at him at what? Bullets? What do you mean? Bullets. Centuries old invention against. Hello, operator. Give me the police department. I still feel you. Yeah. It's not like he's wearing armor. His flashlight just makes you more dead, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, his flashlight guarantee kills you. Yes. Bullets aren't a guarantee. No, but they they hurt. Still hurt. Yeah. yeah. We'll be there right away. Thank you. Betty, don't well, they're not a guarantee unless they're hollow. I want you to go somewhere else where you will be safe. We're well, even safe the are going to guarantee if you have them in the arm. The police said they're going to have armed guards waiting for us on the front steps. I told them we'd be right there. Let's hurry. Right there. Let's hurry. He's pretty fat. That would be that Ray better. Halt! Well, what do you want? I spoke to my granddaughter. You're not getting any help from me. I need not harm anyone if you tell me where he is. If you do not, there will be many deaths. Beginning with you, now. He's not here. He's in the center of the city. Where? <laughs> you Grandpa's acting as I couldn't tell if he was trying to lie or if he was telling the truth. Right. Or if he had a sudden pain. <laughs> yeah, he had a sudden pain. He had a sudden pain in his gut. <laughs> oh my gosh, was this guy? Out of the pool. Oh my gosh. Not a call, Mac. Joe Rogers, reporter on the Daily News. He's on the way over. Found another skeleton. Only this time at the bottom of a swimming pool. This time at the bottom of a swimming pool. We're trying to figure out which <laughs> which college they stole it from. <laughs> what are you doing? Be silent. Continue ahead. Is it kind of like... <laughs> he shoots it at the car. The frame disintegrate goes away, disintegrates. Also the engine and the tires. It's, it's them in a seated position flying down the road. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Derek! Oh. oh my gosh, it's like Jack and Rose all over yeah. again. Stay oh, where falls. you're supposed to be. Real gunshots, are they? No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, you know, there's someone top, what's on top of his head? <laughs> Will you hang the skull? <laughs> freaked out that people just disintegrated. Turn, I don't know. I'd be like, what the hell? He must have slipped off that way. Come on. Slipped off yeah. where? He was, he was he, shot. He just went below the he thing. He was heading right there. Yeah. Betty, 
Frantic. Thank the Lord you're safe. I just came from Alice's. There was a skeleton in the pool. I... Alice? Oh, no! She sounds like Betty Boop. The yeah. Came the well, her name is Betty. What? But how did you get mixed up in this? Because he killed Sparky out by the old mine. How did he get mixed up in this? Well, because she, she saw Derek and wanted to Betty Boop him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you stay Derek, the original Mick Dreamy. Lord, not. <laughs> oh, he's got a gun now. Just walking around the streets with the with the Luger. You know? Why would a cop have a Luger? Yeah. Yeah. What of them had a revolver? Well, they would have a forty-five or well. And why fine. is he pointing the gun at her? At her, yeah, that's not proper gun safety. Well, he is an alien. He is an alien. Really. Listen here, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> They still bleed red? Well, it's black and white. We don't know. Derek. Well, she did. She said it was blood. How would she know? Give me the weapon you have, Derek. Slowly. Why, yes, your beam is real slow. Derek? Derek, do as he says. You could have already Derek, shot him by the time. Do as he says. Do as he says. <laughs> what does it sound like? Oh, what am I thinking of? I saw him thinking of too. <laughs> Do what he said! Do, Do what he said! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same thing. <laughs> Blazing saddle. Yes. Do what he said! Do, Do what he said! <laughs> Do it, Sheriff. He's, he's just crazy enough to do it. <laughs> I knew he was trying to fire out the window at Betty and Derek. I swerved the car and... See, where is Betty? Hey, where That's is Betty? Funny. What is acting? She must be around someplace. But the car is gone. They must have left without me. Well, thanks, worry, Captain ma'am. Obvious. You'll get an escort home. I'm going to phone the story into the paper and then drive out to the old mine Betty mentioned. Yeah, I gotta got get my story What's in first. There? Then I'll go There's save no. Betty. That's where she said Sparky was killed by the guy. Sparky, our dog? She didn't tell me about that. Hey, Mac, over here. Blood spots on the side. See, it's got to be red oh, blood because of blood spots. Right here. That's it. That's how the killer got away. In our car, then Betty and Derek, they must have been kidnapped. You've got to do something. Grandpa Paul seems very He's attached to Derek. Right yeah. Yeah. Like, very quickly attached. Yes. <laughs> like, no, I will not give away Derek. <laughs> But your granddaughter, but I, Derek, I won't give away. <laughs> Is there some emergent? It's Colonel Sanders. It's Colonel Sanders, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's holding a gun on us, Dr. Brand. We had to bring him here. We had to bring him here. He's got a gun. Give me all the chicken. <laughs> I need that recipe. Or I'll turn you into a skeleton. <laughs> I'll turn you into herbs. I'll turn you into a special blend of herbs and spices. <laughs> Where is our ship? I will take you there. No, it is gone. Do as I say. Derek, please. Doctor, you must try. All right, so I missed it. What, 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 why do they? Why are they going to this doctor? I guess because he shot. Shot the other guy. Oh, okay, okay. He figures if I bleed all over his house, maybe he'll give me some chicken. He <laughs> <No. laughs> just happens to have his house. He happens to have a whole thing set up. All right, he's a private doctor. Ah, yeah, maybe. you saw his little business like hanging out like that was. Oh, okay. Both of you, sit there. I shall keep you covered. Take heed. One treacherous move and they pay with their lives. Take heed. Now proceed. It's like, ah, oh, yes, aliens, they speak in <laughs> old English. <laughs> so advanced, yet they speak in old English. Can you keep your hand off the trigger? Because what if he what if he does something you go, ow! Yeah. Burr, flashlight. <laughs> or, <laughs> Oh. Connor, finger licking good. <laughs> 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 
before you drown. The Gargana to be raised here. You could not be allowed to run free. But the specimen reaction was negative. It was verified positive after you escaped. The captain should have let me kill you when if I you had a chance. If you just talk to why the people you? on Earth, there'd be like... So I'm stop you when you fired at me. Giant lobsters? Yeah, because, we're, we're done with that. Yeah. We'll help. Because he just <laughs> learned that... You are the son of our leader. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's, like, <laughs> it's like being a prince. Oh my looks like, it looks like he just learned that information too. Dude, what the yeah. hell was that reaction? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna keep this in a secret in the movie, then we'll reveal it to him. So that's extra surprised. Like I said, it's like he's a. You know, that he, bullet looks like just the found casing out of he's a prince. prince. That means she could be a princess. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Then if I am not to be killed, why did you fire at me in the city? Your life or death was put in my hands. A traitor does not deserve to be our next leader. The only reason you do not fire now is to force attention to your wounds. When that is done... Proceed! Why don't you just give me a, give me an injection that makes you fall asleep? Yeah. Like he's gonna know. What a useless doctor. Also, that, that, do you that not bullet have scalpels <laughs> right there? Stab him in the neck. See, the bullet looks just like a bullet that hadn't been fired. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't bent or mushed up or nothing. Well, actually, in this time, the doctor was probably. Uh, the oaths. The doctors don't take him anymore. But yeah. There are oaths that the doctors hip, The Hippocratic take. Oath? The Hippocratic Oath, yes. They don't take that anymore? I don't know. They're not required to. Uh oh! Some if he drops might. it, it might break. And they may have to go back to the dollar store and buy another <laughs> fake ray gun. Yeah. Oh, they're gone. I, I, I'll find you. You, you cannot get away. Oh, I was terrified he'd see us before we got out of there. He may yet. Get in. I will take you back to the police. In his present condition, he cannot remain conscious long. By the time we return with the police, he should be completely helpless. Derek. What was he talking about? I thought please you should be completely dead. Is that what you're saying? And you, the son of the leader, you said you didn't know your father. I did not know the things he said. Oh, you would? He did. I thought they'd gone. I wanted to forget them forever. You might want to drive away first before you get. No, they plan to return. They plan to return. Who plans to return? Return I what? What are you talk talking like that. about? That is what we call acting. <laughs> yeah. He is acting, people. <laughs> He's been telling us everything he can think of. Mentioned that's where you were going. Okay, hop in. Maybe something will turn up. They're going to find the, the, whatever the alien's called. Uh, the lobster. Uh, you're in here? I know you are. I'll find you. Ah, uh, ow. <coughs> Fix them brakes. A little squeaky. I think they were going for like a tire squeal. Yeah. But it's just like that. What the hell are you talking about? My chickens, they're over here. <laughs> <laughs> My nurse, Miss Hen. <laughs> Grandma? Who's that? That's his nurse. Oh, that's right. Help, I found it. I can't get out. Call life alert. <laughs> Dr. Brandt! Dr. Brandt! She just pushed the door open and didn't grab the handle. That's weird. Already left? She didn't know she's carrying on. Yeah, 
I'd have been like, fuck that, fuck that. What if that doesn't mix with their chemistry or something? Uh... They don't think of things like that in 59 Dead. Well, she didn't know he's an alien. They yeah. look, for some reason, look just like us. Oh, look how fast she did that. Yeah. yeah. Also, they, they act the like the bandaging the wound is going to make it him all of a sudden <laughs> feel better. better. It will. Miss Moss, thank heavens I've reached you. This is Dr. Brandt. Where are you, doctor? There's an emergency patient here. I've done all I can. Listen, Miss Moss. He's a murderer. He held hostages at gunpoint to force me to remove bullets. We were fortunate in escaping. You must get out of there. A murderer. They'll be standing at the door or something. Just go, a murderer. A murderer? <laughs> yeah, I told you to be standing there. Me. Put that down. Miss Moss, Miss Moss, what is it? Drop it, I said. What, what do you want? You will help me to escape. Go out. I want to bone you. <laughs> <laughs> the way, Dr. Brand. They... It's no use. I was too late. They're gone. Thor has escaped? But how could he? You said he would be helpless and... Without aid. But my nurse, she didn't know. She bandaged him. Gave him an injection. He revived. How does he know she gave him an injection? <gasps> did she say that? Please, she didn't... Dr. Brand, no. Please, they might be able to do something. I'll tell them. I'll tell them what happened. Let Colonel Sanders handle it. I'll go give him some chicken. They'll be all right. <laughs> you can't be sad with the original recipe. <laughs> this is before they changed the original recipe. Yes. I think this is before the original recipe existed. <laughs> Coming here. Oh, well, this is before he was Colonel Sanders. And he, right here, he's Private Sanders. <laughs> the size of this building in no more than a day. But can't you stop? the only chance is to duplicate the operation of the disintegrator. How can that be done? The men of science here might be able to do it if they could get doors by the model. How can that be done? If only there is enough time. <laughs> Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> Such hammer. Oh my oh. god, that was bad. That was so bad. He just seems to like killing. There's more to it than that, Joe. There's something behind this, something we don't understand. The weapon he uses, it's unheard of. I don't understand. Why are there Did he just look at the big. camera and say that? I think so. Yes. <laughs> He's a, look at the camera. This weapon he's using, it's unheard of. He's using the weapon as target practice because it was burned? Did it burn? What? They're not even real shocked like it's a weapon we don't understand. It burns flesh right off. Yeah. They'd be freaking out. I'd be like, what the hell's going on? It disintegrates on? everything but bone. <laughs> For some reason. Like, how does that even work? Possibly they will. But barricaded in the mouth of a cave, with you as hostage and me with this... How long do you think you can hold out that way? Long enough. Hey! Bring your flash bulbs up here. This tunnel is black as pitch. Okay, I'll be right up. So let me run back in. <laughs> run back into some place I can't see. <laughs> 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 Just lose it. Ah! An intruder already. No! What do you mean already? You just got there. I won't let you kill anyone. I see you do not value your life. He's getting away. Follow him. No. Dare refuse. <laughs> How can we didn't discern her? Why did you her? Oh my gosh. Can't <laughs> also, I don't her. think she's that old. <laughs> Maybe he does want a boner. Oh my gosh. He gets a boner for the bones. <laughs> Why he does it so much. Oh my gosh. He just all of a sudden so he's gross. an expert driver. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of regular people that drive every day that couldn't drive around that that fast. Yeah. And he's doing it and his vision's all fuzzy. I can't even drive a stick shift and he just hopped in there and drove it. None of the cars were automatic back then. Yeah. 
What would be funny is that at the end, they, you find out it's it, it was it was all. Just went out fast. <laughs> She's like, oh. It's because they sped up the footage. <laughs> She's like, oh. And she just slowed down. Oh my he god. He was half hanging out the door. It was like a nightmare. I, I wish it was over. What do you mean? Back in the cave where he shot at me. Some kind of man-eating monster. Poor Mac, the guy I was with, I could hear the thing tearing him apart. Oh, they had the lobster in the cave. Yeah, the lobster's in the cave. Ah, uh, yeah. Are we going to get to see the lobster? Or just one little claw come out and go, and drag, my, ah, drag somebody off? That's what I hope happens. I hope, we, I hope we see a giant claw come out of the cave. The man guilty of these strange killings now lies mute in confinement at General Hospital, where he is being treated for minor injuries. Authorities plan to transfer him General to hospital, so he's tonight. minor injuries? He yeah, he was only flipped located. the car and hanging out of it. But History still surrounds it's the shot. disappearance of a man-eating beast said to have been in an abandoned mine shaft outside the city limits. These newsreel shots were General Hospital, so he got, he's taken to a soap opera. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Evidence in the cave appeared to confirm the report that a monster of some sort had been shackled there, but had somehow attained strength enough to pull itself loose and escape. Groups of armed volunteers have set out in search of the creature, hoping to track it down and destroy it. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... Meanwhile, has anybody seen that surfing squirrel? There's only a man-eating thing. <laughs> Every, 18 people died. Derek, I just thought... I like the news on Harry Potter, the muggle news. The bridge fell today and 13 cars sank to the bottom, but in other news... Squeaky the chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> it would not have been large enough, but the man it consumed increased its growth rate. Then, how big would it be now? I wonder what she's it's talking about. Because <laughs> <laughs> that'll protect it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As long as the door, the door is closed, closed, you'll be all right. <laughs> almost sounded, it sounded like you said keep the door closed. <laughs> the like, lobster won't get keep, to you. Keep your clothes on, please. <laughs> you we about already how, tried to take them off three times is, on the way here. How big is it now? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe the lobster's underneath the branch? He's looking for the gun. Ah. Of course she's gonna get she out. Never, stay here. Never stay in the Ain't car. Listen here, Rose. You're gonna get Jack killed. <laughs> Listen here, Betty. He can boop you later. <laughs> <laughs> but I need it now. He left me hanging. He was talking about how big it was gonna get. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then he just walked out. No, Betty. Go back. It's too dangerous. We can for find you that thing twice as fast if we both look. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and I'm going to slip and fall into your arms. You may be angry, but I like you very much. In a moment, the moon will come from behind a cloud. It'll be easier to see what we're looking for. Yes. The light from your moon, it will help. Uh, those three Come from behind little... that wisp of a cloud? <laughs> what? It was like three little that, clouds. That, that little wisp of a cloud. <laughs> it's hiding, it's hiding the, the whole moonlight. Moon. I think I've known for some time. Also, oh, where the You're fuck are the stars? You know, for some time, you mean did you just like figure that earlier out? today? I did not know how to tell you. They've known each other for what, a day? Right. Yeah. For some time, a whole two hours. You're so much like us. Like my brother, Grandpa, when he was young. And to think. I'm so attracted to you. You're so much like us. Like my brother. brother what? And my grandpa. <laughs> what? <laughs> but only Grandpa when he was this young. Far. Where you're from? Well, we have four balls and two, well, and two penises. <laughs> well, we don't kiss our brothers. So. We even we draw the line there. As are the old. 
You won't be going back ever, will you? I shall make the earth my home. <laughs> and I shall never, <laughs> never leave it. Even the aliens will say anything to get some. Yep. As he zips off the next day to his planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Are you that excited? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the gun! <laughs> <laughs> the moon has come from behind the cloud. Yay, the cloud. Derek. The cricket. It's so quiet. The lobster! <laughs> Look how big a shadow it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Somebody's gosh. Somebody's screaming, ah! <laughs> Somebody's going, ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, no, what no one realized before is the lobsters fight. <laughs> lobsters fight. Up on their tail, because all their the legs tail. are up in the... <laughs> Lobsters fight up on their tail. When <laughs> Thor was thrown in the crash. You said that that thing would keep growing. If it does, what can stop it from wrecking the city? And I may be able to repair the damaged part of the disintegrator. Get the if tanks. Can, we will stop the Guardian <laughs> and give the Earth a weapon against invasion as well. If only I can get it to work. Only a coyote. So I'm gonna grab him. There it is! <laughs> <No>! <laughs> <laughs> They're getting killed by shadows. He fell sound asleep with all his clothes on. Do you think you can fix it, Derry? I have found the damage. You say I put him to bed naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like. Oh. <laughs> the power to destroy as it does. It is worthless. It does. Unless I can figure out an energy substitute. Maybe it won't. Nuclear come power. <laughs> Just plug it, it into the wall, and you'll have to have a cord everywhere you go. For more food, if nothing else. <laughs> is that dude drinking vodka? What the fuck is that? This is Johnson at Station 86. Out by the hills, due northeast. There's some kind of a monster. It suddenly bobbed up and seemed to touch the sky. I have not been drinking. No, I can't see it now. It must be behind the hills. But I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I think he has been drinking. Yeah, he's going to take that. The <laughs> just received. According to a report not yet confirmed, a beast of seemingly gigantic proportions has been sighted lurking in the hills due northeast of town. City officials have called for military help. Planes and troops are expected to arrive within the next two hours. Meanwhile, citizens should take refuge in places of safety. Cellars, bomb shelters, as directed by civil defense administrators. I repeat. Derek, they say it's coming. It has grown. It's just northeast of town. I'd better wake up Grandpa. We'll all be home. <laughs> it has grown. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it has grown. Oh, my gosh. What are you looking at? Oh, we're terrible. How much it's grown, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> it's grown so much, you know, it's coming. The energy used for illumination and power in the homes. Yes, electricity. And the wires are spread throughout the city, are they not? You mean you might be able to make the disintegrator work by hooking it to... Possibly. If the power were great enough. The only chance, so I've got to try it. I can help, Derek. I'm going with you. Oh, what's going on? Yeah. What's all the commotion about? Grandpa, Derek and I are going out to the edge of town. Wait for us here. First, I must put the disintegrator. Where else was he gonna go? And then find proper tools. Well, you go to the bomb shelter, like the news said, but she didn't tell him any of that. Oh, that's no. true. She didn't tell him any of the information that the news no. just told her. <laughs> you know, he was a sweetie. damn Betty. <laughs> what the fuck? She's <laughs> gonna let him die in the house. Go to the nearest bomb shelter. 
the so ship. they're going to go to the edge of town so she can see how big it's gotten. Where, they fil- where did they film this? It's like San, San Diego. <laughs> yeah, or San Diego. Yeah. And now, <laughs> and now all of a sudden it looks like the middle of nowhere. Why aren't you in the cellar, Gramps, with Betty? What makes you think Betty's in the cellar? She's out somewhere with Derek again. Everybody's supposed to take shelter. The monster from the cave, it's approaching the town. Huh? The Didn't Betty tell you that? <laughs> oh, she did. Crazy kid. Joe, we've got to try and find him. You mean they... Come on, then. Let's go. You mean they... <laughs> they... Okay, Joe Biden. <laughs> you mean they... <laughs> what? Huh? What? The monster... Yeah. Who? Well, never mind, then. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. I'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to that monster. Come on, man. Come on, man. You don't need to be eating people. (laughs) (laughs) Joe. (laughs) Operator, this is an emergency. You must connect me with the city electrical generating plant. Hurry! (laughs) (laughs) It's it's so much worse than I expected. It's horrible. I'm at North Ridge Road. We have a weapon here that might be able to stop it if we can connect it to the power line. Who is this? I'll have to check with... You have to believe me. There's no time to check with anybody. Well, I'll just do it then. <laughs> Turn this lever a little bit. Out there. That looks like him. Derek is climbing down a pole. And look what's coming. We're not going to make it in time. Derek's on the pole. What? <laughs> Not again. Yeah, they're some extra money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so horrible. Hello? Turn the power back on. Okay. It is not enough. It is not enough power. Can you boost the power any, please? It's not enough. I'll try to speed up the generators. Derry seems to have some kind of weapon, but it's not doing anything. Uh, Thank you for narrating, Grandpa. <laughs> I guess you can just grab the wires by your hand with your hand. If only there were more power, Betty. Is there any way to generate more power? We've got to have more. I can join in more circuits, but it may blow off the line. Try anything. It's our only chance. She wants to get bigger. Now she wants more power. <laughs> bigger. More power. More. Flashlight. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. You can turn the weapon over to the scientists now. It is too late. You mean they're coming? That's oh, coming, really? Eric's pole. What? <laughs> Your people are here for you. I must leave. They will take care of you. But, Derek, you promised. You said... I know what I must do. You must not interfere. Grandpa will be so sad if he loves Derek so much. (laughs) He loves Derek so much. I think he loves Derek more than Betty. (laughs) That book has indeed made you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. Somehow I feel that I've always known you, that we've never been apart. Even though they've known each other less than 24 hours. Less less than like five hours. (laughs) Well, no, it's nighttime right now, and they met in the morning. Okay, so maybe it's one day, maybe. Yeah. How dare you wear the clothes that you arrived in? Goodbye, Betty. No, Derek, no! You are Joe. I want you to take me somewhere in your vehicle. What makes you think I will? You refuse to take me? That's right. I'm staying right here. You will do as I say. No, Derek, this isn't you. Do not interfere, Betty. I beg you. Get in. 
Why does ben he need him work. to take it? Why can't he, he just can take drive. the car? Yeah. He's been driving this entire movie. Take me to where they are keeping the prisoner. The killer? He's at General Hospital, but... Then take me there. Oh, he's already killed himself then from all the shit they go through in General Hospital. Trust me, baby. Trust me. Don't blow it. Derek seemed like such a nice fellow. <laughs> he took the guy away at gunpoint. point. He promised he would never leave. Oh my god. He would never go back. I don't believe he wants to break his promise to me. I'm not gonna let him. What can you Maybe do he's it, just honey? not that into you, Betty. I think I know where he's going. <laughs> I'll buy the old mine. He didn't like your teeth. I wanna go there. <laughs> or your hair. Your hair, your hair, your <laughs> bangs. Your bangs. Grandpa, please let me go. I must. Like on, air, like on airplane. Would you get that dress and those shoes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> she sounds like the girl on airplane. Yeah. <laughs> the way she does her voice all light and breathy. That's what I said. She sounds like Betty Boop. Yeah. Do not move. I will take the prisoner. Get their guns. Hand them to me. What kind of shoes are they wearing? Now get in. Looks like shoes covered in tape or something. Yeah. Covered in toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you face the wall. Keep your hands above your head. I was stupid, Thor. Very stupid. But that is over. We are returning to meet the ships, together. Why do you let them live? Kill them! There is no need. They will be dead soon enough, along with everything else on this planet. Go! Oh, yeah, I'm motivated now. If I'm going to die anyway, why not just go, ah, screw it, drive yourself. Look, yeah. That's what he meant. Oh. Ah. Is there another... Coming from the sky. flying saucer? Wow. Ships of an alien source are approaching from the sky. Radio contact has been attempted but cannot be established. What is that? Options are to prepare for an alarm attack the by attack? an unknown enemy. The air raid sirens. Air raids, yeah. Yeah, for when the Russians attack. It's like, oh! Hold it or no. Hold it. Oh, Grandpa, look. Here comes Joe's car. Bum, bum, bum. After he killed the lobster, it didn't turn it into bones, so did they get to go up there and harvest the juicy, juicy... No, no it's because it's because lobster meat. It got rid of all the stuff on the inside. Because the, cause the outside of the lobster, because it, it's uh, whatever it's called. So it got rid of all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah it got rid of all the good stuff and left, left the empty shell. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. The guide ship is about to land. We must go to meet it. Your promise, Derek. Don't you remember your promise? I have not forgotten it. Ah, yes, it's the, the same exact, exact, same, exact shot. same shot. <laughs> it looks like there are a hundred more still in the sky. What are they going to do? Do we get to see him? No, we don't. Because they have the budget for one. <laughs> and it's probably this big. <laughs> yeah. I would have used the disintegrator on them. But it will not function without energy supply. It was damaged when you crashed. I had to bluff with it. It is just as well. They will be the first victims of the Gargan herds. <laughs> I can just see right out of camera so shot there's someone going back, <laughs> <laughs> and then holding it. That hole is also about two feet deep. <laughs> yeah. 
He's I'm crouching there. there. <laughs> yeah. There will be no punishment, my son. You are my father? I am. I have watched your progress since you were born. You have excelled in all things. I was most disappointed to learn... <laughs> That's another, another fake very <laughs> fake beard. <laughs> Hoping I would he has find three stripes return. and a cloak. Has what I have done not Ooh. disqualified me. He's a three striper. Am I still to? You are back. That is all that matters. You must take go only one direction. Of that book. <laughs> mm. It blurred your mind, but only temporarily. But they don't line up at the How zipper part. Able to leave the planet? <laughs> they weren't able to perfect will that. Will the government yeah. structure collapse in your absence? We will return immediately, as soon as the Gargans are unloaded from the fleet of ships. Let me be the one to direct the men for landing. Captain, are the ships close enough to receive the landing signals? Momentarily, but... Then go below, Derek. You will bring them in. You can see yeah. the string. Yeah. <laughs> there was the string attached. <laughs> Looked like Derek went in first and closed the entrance way. Whatever's in the sky, they're getting mighty close. Why are they telling Derek us what we just saw? Plan. Right? Every <laughs> single scene. It's all the humans are good for. Master control to fleet. Master control to fleet. Increase speed. Set flight pattern to minus point zero eight. Increase speed. Open this hatch at once. The ships seem to be converging and increasing their speed. They cannot land. We have no plan to have them land, but crash! They're coming right at us! Derek's doing it! That's what he planned! But he's inside there. He'll be killed too! Oh my gosh. They care so much about Derek. I know, it's been one day, people. Why are we so attached How to How did that ship land, but the other ones have to have a homing beacon? Hold, court, steady. Because they're communists. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I love that. I was like, oh, that's that a volcano. Be it. <laughs> It's just footage of a volcano. <laughs> a volcano like, instead of ships crashing. <laughs> we had a campfire. <laughs> just filled the smoke up. <laughs> see, you don't get to see the crash. You just get to see the yeah. smoke from the campfire. <laughs> Jeez. The biggest bonfire they could light. <laughs> She's like, that was my only chance to get laid with these bangs. Yeah. <laughs> In a rock quarry. And now I'm gonna have to marry Joe, and he'll always know he was second oh. best. <laughs> oh she sees his face in the sky. Jeez. <laughs> and I shall never, never leave it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's never gonna leave it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was teenagers from outer space. <laughs> and I would still I think rather... I need another drink after that. Uh, Jeez. Uh, <laughs> well, oh my gosh, that was uh, that was awful. That was yes. terrible. It was completely awful. That was really But uh, Yeah, like if we were thinking like, you know, Having a rating system where we compare it to Rise of Skywalker. I'd rather watch, I think, I, uh, if I had to choose, I'd rather watch this again. First of all, it's shorter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's and, fair. And, I, and, I, and it was hilarious. Yes. It, it was, was funny. Hilariously bad. Yes. I would rather watch <laughs> this than Rise of Skywalker. You know what I would love to see? What? I... People in Hollywood can't think of anything original anymore. Yeah. How about instead of making remakes <laughs> of movies from 10 years ago, yeah. why don't we get what a remake that? of this? <laughs> yeah, no high, high budget Hollywood <laughs> remake. Or even better, we get a sequel. A sequel. Yes. A high budget <laughs> yes. A-list sequel. And a bunch of aliens and, come down. No, no, no. It takes place on their home world. 
<laughs> and it's their it's their home world going into revolution after their king dies. Ah, yeah. Yes. And then the big lobster is trying and to the, yeah. escaping. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get to see gi- and then get to you see more have, giant lobsters, and then you can have whatever hero they decide to have escape and come back to Earth, so that you could have part three on Earth again. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> but that was hilariously bad. So Stan was right; he didn't even make it through the whole thing and turn it off. <laughs> he should have. Wow. He should have yes. kept watching. He should have kept watching. That was once, bad. I wonder when he turned it off. It must. It when, had to have been when he bef- saw the lobster. It, <laughs> yeah. I think it had to have been before the lobster. If it was before the lobster, he missed out. Yeah, because that I, lobster I was, it was hilarious. The lobster. Hilarious. <laughs> there was times when I thought I could see like the stick that it was on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing was a shadow. Yeah. It was just a sh- <laughs> and it was going. Ah! <laughs> it sounded exactly like something going. Ah! Just, just the guy going. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. Oh, geez. So it's above it's above Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. I don't think by much. <laughs> not by much, no, no not much. The one but it's thing there. That, one thing that says it, it's just shorter. It's yes, shorter. So you're not shorter. wasting as much of my life yeah. if I had to watch it again. Yes. Well, and there's not better installments before that that got me into it so much. Yeah. So it's just a yeah. one-off. Yeah. So uh well, that acting. was acting. Academy that was right that there. was the epitome of acting back oh, then. Oh yeah, that was I Oscar mean, they were, Oh yeah, that was horrible yeah. acting. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, eat, eat your heart out, Elizabeth Taylor. This is getting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Betty's Betty, taking she, over yeah. the Oscar. <laughs> and Grandpa, cool. teenagers door, from yes. uh, outer space. And uh, so I guess next time, I don't know. We'll see what Stan has in for us next time. Uh, yeah, he so, missed yeah. out. If he yeah. if if he didn't finish it, he missed out. He didn't that miss was out. that's yes. and I hope the next ooh, movie that yeah. that lobster. Yes. <laughs> that the shot of the lobster dying classic. Yes. And uh, <laughs> amazing cinematography. Yes. Uh-huh. I right. just hope he can pick another movie that's so riveting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the love story oh, was no. just I was there for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, oh. so we're wrapping this up. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, until next time, this is uh, Crane's Barn Grill. Yeah, see y'all later. Good night. Good night. Deuces. <laughs>